hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be talking about if you're feeling that acting has become too hard and um, it, it's just difficult and you may be a beginner and you may feel like, oh, this is a really hard profession. I'm just even doubting if I even want to start. Or we have a lot of actors also who come to us and who have some experience or a lot of experience or even working a lot and all the time and who are coming to us and feeling like it's just too hard. It's just too hard to be an actor. And so it's, it's, it's really painful to watch that because actors are some of the most passionate human beings that I've ever come across. So you're putting a lot of your time, a lot of your passion, a lot of your energy, a lot of your money. You're really giving everything that you have for acting. And if you're not getting the type of roles that you want to defend, yes, it can be so frustrating, right? So if you're stuck not being able to do what it is that you like doing and yet you put everything you have in it, it can be very painful. It's, it's, I often hear a lot of actors also say, well, it's such a difficult industry because there's so much competition and so little roles that it's just like the odds are impossible. So why even bother? And I hear actors who say this and they've been acting for a long time, right? So it's like you can be in it, you can get some crumbs here and there, but it's, there's just too many people. It's just too complicated. It's just too hard. And so maybe you catch yourself feeling um, that way. There's also a lot of actors who are acting and who are not getting the type of roles that they want. So they have work, it pays the bills. But then if, it's, if that's your case, you might be feeling like, oh, I mean, I, I couldn't care less about all these roles that I'm getting. It's not fulfilling. It's not fulfilling me as an artist because I don't care about those roles or I don't care about those TV shows. They're meaningless to me, right? So it's not in your purpose. So I also hear a lot of actors feel like they, when they're auditioning, they have a lot of doubt, a lot of fear, like a lot of ickiness comes around auditioning. So of course, auditioning is part of your job. And if when you're auditioning, when you have great opportunities, it feels really tough and sticky and toxic and you're getting super nervous and super stressed and panicky and you're looping around that, well then, of course, it feels like it's really hard to do your job because when you're doing it, it's painful. I hear actors from all levels complain about this, so it's really not because you're beginning or you don't have the right credits yet. I hear actors who are working all the time come to me and they're like, I'm in excruciating pain when I'm auditioning. I am suffering. When I'm auditioning, it's torture. So there's really something to be said about all of this hard work um, that goes into acting, into the experience of acting, it's just not fun. And if it's not fun, and if you're not enjoying it, if it's not fulfilling your heart and your soul, then you may sometimes ask yourself, like, why am I doing this? It's just so hard. It makes me feel terrible. It's not paying the bills. It's not giving me the security. Why am I doing this, right? So there's a lot of people who come to us just before quitting. They're like, oh, that, like I've tried everything. I'm going to try one last thing. So it's problematic because it's so toxic that you spiral and spiral of all of the of these sticky feelings. And of course, if you go to your next audition, hoping it's going to change everything, well, you have all of this toxic toxicity that's built up and you're going to put it in the next audition, right? So you're not even able to show up as your full self anymore because you've stacked up so much frustration, so much hardship that when you do show up, that's in your energy. It's in your vibe and people feel it and you feel it. And so you're unable to be loose and free and in the moment. So you miss opportunities because you don't come in ready. You come in burdened by your experience with acting. And that's very problematic. So you may have tried different things. I see actors who try to network more because they think if they meet the right person, they'll have the magic opportunity and then their life will change. I see actors who go to all the classes, who work with the best teachers out there, with the celebrity coaches out there. And then, you know, you try all of these things. You put all of your money into networking and into the, you know, more prestigious classes. Result is you still feel like, 
H-I-T when you act and you still don't book the type of roles you want. And the more you do it, the worse it gets and the less you book and the less you believe in it and the less it feels possible. And it's just a spiral that goes down. So I want to say that the way I want to put it, it is this way. I want to say, actually, you, yourself, your pure, true, deep, free self, you are not acting. I'm going to repeat, repeat that. You are not acting. The real you, the deep you, the pure you, the authentic you, the you that only exists inside of you. There's no other you in this entire world but you. That part of you doesn't go acting. That part of you stopped acting, stopped even being a very long time ago because you have been conditioned. You've learned to react, to feel, to behave, to think, to show up a certain way in order to please, in order to look good, in order to be right, in order to not be wrong, in order to be validated, in order to be accepted, to be liked, to be loved, to just fill in the blanks, right? Hi, Claude. And, and so the problem is what's showing up is your ego. It's your defense mechanism, your coping mechanism. It's everything in you that needs to feel safe and belonging and accepting. So that's the part that's not fulfilling. And because that's not fulfilling and because you're showing up with that part of yourself, which is not the real you, not the pure you, not the infinite, infinitely powerful you, Therefore, it feels horrible when you're acting. Therefore, you're not booking the parts that you actually want to book. Therefore, you keep stacking up frustration after frustration and you show up for the next job and it's not going to be better because you have all of that ickiness and still no access to you that makes you incapable to show up and actually feel great when you're acting and actually book the part. So I hope this is making this is making sense. I have a friend of mine, Claude, who's very irreverent and who keeps coming into these lives and he just writes the, the silliest things. So I want to acknowledge him. So he feels seen because he likes being seen. He likes being validated. So I see you, Claude. I know you're there. I know you're laughing behind your screen. So anyway, yes, to sum it up, Acting feels hard, not because it is hard. It's because you're trying to come at acting from a place that's not you. The place that stopped being you a long time ago, you no longer have access to. So what you're trying to navigate this industry with is only your coping mechanisms, your ego, your defense mechanisms, survival mechanisms. You're not really you anytime you're auditioning, anytime you're acting. You're just a muscle that's learned from other people how to do things right, how to not be hated, how to not be wrong, how to stay safe, how to look good, how to please, basically. And so that is not you. That's just learned behaviors. It's called your conditioning, your programming. The real you that you're not acting with is there. It's deep down into yourself. It's like bulletproof. You can't kill it. So it's really, the question is really about moving through all of that conditioning, coming back to your true self, and then you can show up. And the best way we encourage people to do this work is the first step we do is we help people rehab. So we have a little tiny program, a three-day program called the Actors Rehab, which is where you start undoing all of these toxic loops that keep you stuck in not feeling great when you act and not booking the type of roles that you want so that you can rehab yourself out of this toxicity and getting your mindset back into, oh, okay, this is who I am. This is what's possible. Okay, I'm going for it. So if you're interested in this, you can type rehab in the comments and we can send you a link um, so that you can access this th three-day training. And... That's it. There you go. I hope this was helpful, you guys, and I'll see you soon. Ciao.